Hello. I'm going to talk harmonica in a minute, but first, this. This wonderful thing is not a harmonica. This is a homemade cigar box guitar, which was made by a uh, friend of mine who I met through teaching harmonica. Um, and he very, very kindly out of the blue gifted this to me. And I'm absolutely thrilled because it's a lovely, lovely thing, right? He's made it himself. It's a real cigar box. Um, just really homemade, lump of wood running through it. You know, there is a pickup in there, a little volume pot. Just a, a lovely thing. And I've been think, trying to think for weeks about how to, how I can somehow showcase this and do something harmonica related at the same time. And I think I've cracked it. On this and on a normal guitar, this is about, um, this is in the topic of finding melodies or finding cool things to play. St a string on this has all... I, I can hit any pitch there, any note in the scale just by uh, fretting at... Uh, or just by depressing the string at a certain point, okay? So you've got a whole octave and a bit in here. All the notes are there, same as they are on a regular guitar. What that means is that learning or working out melodies or finding cool things to play is actually quite straightforward. Because all you need to do is go searching for the note you're after. And they're all there. So I was working out uh, You Are My Sunshine. Ah. Or, you know, it's in there. You're listening to the sound. Is it right? Is it wrong? Do you need to go higher or lower? And you can search around and find it. And that is slightly... Um, anal analogous? An analogous? Analogous is the word, isn't it? All of your draw notes are going to work over a blues, okay? Any sort of standard melody, like You Are My Sunshine, or Danny Boy, or yeah, Christmas carols, old folk songs, all of the notes you're going to need to play those, usually, are, are, the, are right here. And we've only got ten holes. Seek and you shall find. So if I try to find You Are My Sunshine in second position, which I don't normally play... All the notes are there, and I've just played enough melodies in second position that I'm confident enough that I can probably find it. <laughs> what teaching material can't provide, <laughs> it's going to sound a bit weird, is quality time between you and your instrument. I've spoken about this before. Um, I think it was Errol Linton in an old bit of interview footage I saw, he said, you just keep playing and at some point the harmonica becomes a part of your mouth. And I just think that's a brilliant explanation 
of how you get to this sort of naturalistic, comfortable, easy feel. It's like a, a zen thing, right? You need to know how your instrument responds to you. You need to know how it reacts. You need to be thoroughly comfortable about having it in your mouth. It needs to be as natural as talking. That's how you get good at harmonica. Experimenting by yourself, always. The people who learn harmonica are the people who cannot get it out of their face. The more often it's in there for short periods, the quicker you will become accustomed to it. It'll start to feel more like a part of your mouth. Feeling of comfort and home when you pick it up instead of it being something intimidating. Time spent just messing about, gently getting different sounds out, seeing what was possible. How loud can I play it? How quiet can I play it? Doing chording exercises is really good for this because you can get lost in the rhythm. So I hope that made some kind of sense. It's just about exploring and it just takes a bit of time. All right, see you next time.